them. We want to turn now to John Lott. He's the author of a, of a book that's called More Guns, Less Crime. And that kind of is his theory in a nutshell. If people had more guns, then there'd be more opportunities for self-defense. And not only is he against new gun laws, he'd like to see many of the gun laws that are currently on the books taken out of the books altogether. It's nice to have you talking with us. We appreciate it. You know, on Friday, you were talking to peers. Um, and then again uh, with Wolf yesterday, and, and you said it's time to get rid of gun laws. Like the takeaway for you from this massacre at an elementary school is it's time to get rid of gun laws. How does it possibly make sense to you? Right. Well, I mean, because of my research, I've talked to dozens of people who have been present at these horrible events over time. And the feeling of utter helplessness is just overwhelming for these individuals. I mean, it's hard to think of something more terrifying than being helpless there when one of these attacks occur. Look, there's one common feature across these attacks. All, the ones that the president mentioned, you go back to from 1950 at least on, with only one exception, all the multiple victim public shootings have occurred where more than three people have been killed, have occurred where guns are banned. We try to make an area safe by banning guns. But what happens is it's the law-abiding good citizens who obey the ban and not the criminals. And, and rather but than making it safe But there's more than one thing in victims, common, right? Well, there's more than no, one I'm thing in common. One, one thing, thing in common well, is that somebody is, has weapons, too, and they go into a, a place where they should not be with a weapon. So I, I'd say it's not just one thing in common. They're, they're also armed, oh. often to the hilt, and often with automatic weapons or semi-automatic weapons, right? Well, never with automatic weapons, but with semi-automatic weapons, sure, they have those. But here, here's the point. We only have very tiny areas in the United States which are these completely gun-free zones. And yet, time after time, that's the place these criminals go. Take the uh, Aurora, Colorado movie theater shootings. There were seven movie theaters within a 20-minute car ride of the killer's apartment. There's only one that banned guns. He didn't go to the movie theater that was closest to his home. He didn't go to the movie theater that was largest. The movie theater that he went to was the only one that banned guns. And you see that in the uh, see, well, let me, well, let me stop week. you there. Let me stop you there. And, and here, again, a sure. case where someone had a semi-automatic rifle. Uh, how do you know that he chose that because they banned guns? I mean, have you talked to him? Uh, I have not seen anywhere in any transcript of anything he has said that he picked it specifically for that. He has not spoken to the media. How do you know that? No. Look, you don't know that. I'm, if it's rant... Okay, well, there are two points. One is, I don't know in this particular case, but... He picks one out of seven. It's the only one there. And the point is, every time you go look at these mall shootings, most of the malls in the area aren't posted as gun-free zones, and yet the only ones they always pick are the ones they're but banned. But why pick is your Columbine takeaway, case. sir? You probably don't know. Why uh, is... Let me just give you one piece of information here. Take the Columbine case. Do you know that Dylan Klebold, for example, was lobbying against the concealed handgun bill and it was before the state legislature? He was writing as state legislators, he was strongly against it, he was particularly upset about the part of the law that would allow concealed handguns on school property. And do you know the day the Columbine attack what? occurred? It occurred on the day of final passage of the state concealed handgun law. But In listen, Columbine, why is how your many takeaway times do you talk from, about that? What, why is your takeaway from all of this to get rid of gun laws? And your takeaway is not to say there are people who should not have access to certain types of weapon in this particular weapons in this particular case we now know uh, the investigation is is just at the beginning stages we know well we know that he used a semi-automatic rifle to blow out essentially right. the glass wall at the entrance to the school so so the security was useless why because he had a high velocity multi-shot with many uh, rounds with him to, to be able to access the school. So why would you not say that's exactly the kind of weapon that someone should not be able to easily get their hands on? And he was able, able easily to get his okay. hands on it because it was legally registered to his mother. Why is that not your takeaway? You know, you know what country had the two of the three worst public school shootings prior to Friday? It was Germany. Germany had three of the five worst public school shootings in the world. Now. They have extremely strict gun control laws. You can't get semi-automatic weapons. It takes a year to get a bolt-action uh, long rifle there. And yet they've had 
a worse record in terms of multiple victim shootings at schools than we've had here in the United States, even with this attack. And so, I don't you look see at how any of that brings you to the decision that the, the answer is to get rid of gun laws. The other question that I would ask you, because and often they people will say, they serve as a revisit magnet the for these attacks. Because these criminals or or, sort, or a rational person places. could say, or a rational person could say that having access to a high-powered semi-automatic rifle is inappropriate. That there's no reason to go deer hunting with that. There's no reason to have access to that. And that well, is the connection. That these killers have no, access to those weapons. Let me ask you another question. Listen, Let's go back to the Second no, Amendment. No, no, I want to answer this one, please, on that you just Amendment. said. No, 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 I'm not a Second well, Amendment. Look, I don't argue Second Amendment. I argue crime. That's what I do. Now, I just want to answer your question here. These guns are just like any hunting rifle. The inside guts, they fire one bullet. In fact, the Bushmaster gun there is, would be equivalent of a, gun, a rifle that would be used for hunting very small game like squirrels. It's not, you know, uh, it looks different on the outside because some people like to have guns that look like military weapons, but it's not. It's like any hunting rifle. If sir, you want to ban sir, all hunting you, rifles, sir, that's fine. If you are trying yes. to kill a large number of people in a massacre, that kind of gun is what you grab. If you are trying to you, have the most damage that you, would possibly, do the same thing. that you possibly can inflict on people, it is that kind of semi-automatic rifle that you okay. grab. So how you no, can no, say then, that people have fewer fewer laws and not more, I, I think is it listen, just it boggles the mind, honestly. To, and I think if you, you were to come to here and talk to the people effect. in this town, they'd be stunned by you. I, I have talked to, unfortunately, lots of people at many multiple victim public shootings as I start off. Look, semi-automatic guns are the most common gun in the United States. They're beneficial for self-defense. If you had two criminals coming at you, you're not going to want to have a gun that only fires one shot like that. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You can't fire even a warning shot. You, if you miss the first shot and you don't have a semi-automatic gun, what are you going to do for self-defense at that and if you have, and if you and have, a, And if you have a man who seems to be troubled and he is armed with a semi-automatic weapon, a rifle, then there is a high likelihood that he is going to massacre a lot of people in one location, sir, in a very small amount of time. We uh, could continue this debate for a long time. I appreciate you talking with me this morning, but I, I just I have to say your position, your position completely uh, boggles me. Honestly, I just I just do not understand it. Thank you for talking with us. I, I want to bring in Eddie.